Well, good morning. Good morning. We are, I think, hang on a second. I think we're going live uh, because it's buffering, because uh, buffering is what we do. Buffering, oh, buffering, da 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 da, it's buffering. Uh, <laughs> this is how it goes. There we go. Let me make that. No, that's as big as it gets for now. Yeah, that's cool. Alrighty, we are as, excuse me, as live as we get. And I got, I got two things going on here. Let me click on that. There we go. Uh, give me a second to figure out what the heck's going on here. Facebook has changed since we went live, I don't know, 85 years ago. How they do, and, and you guys who've done live streams on, on Facebook know that they've done, they do what they do a little differently now. You really can't see what you used to be able to see. You really can't, you really can't. All you have, you, have, you sort of have to trust them. You have a 14 foot monitor and they put your your video on a screen about uh, literally two inches big. Uh, so we really can't see. It's easier to do it from, from your phone and your computer actually because you can actually see what you're doing. I want to hear. <laughs> All righty, so there we are, finally, finally. All right, again, welcome to um, We'll Talk with Devin Will. It is a Monday morning. We're back Good on Good morning, We're I'm Dev. Uh, we're back. Um, it's this is fun. the Dab and Will show. Uh, I had to get the thing started. <laughs> I had to get the thing started, so I got it started. Yeah. Um, so we're back. Good and morning. How y'all doing today? It's good to see you. Good to be seen. Better seen than viewed, right? Uh, <laughs> that's a that 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 that's an Undertaker joke. <laughs> you can do that now when I'm old. Do Undertaker jokes. Um, so uh, seen than viewed. Better, better seen than viewed. Old people used to say that all the time. I, didn't, I never knew what it meant. Now, what, you know. now, I, <laughs> now I know. Now I can. Now I can. Now I can appreciate it. I can truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, so again, welcome to Monday morning. I trust that everyone is well. Everyone had a great weekend. So I need to get my my cup of coffee. I'll put it here. Trying to try to make a lot of noise because. Uh, we can make a lot of noise, but I try not. Yeah, try not to. All right. Um, welcome back from COVID. A lot of you are going back to work. A lot of you are going back to whatever you were doing before. Yes. And um, back to normal. Whatever that. Whatever that is. Whatever that was. Whatever that was for you. Was for you. <laughs> um, and and people say a new normal, but I hate that word, it's just so. back to. Whatever you were doing. Whatever your life was. Um, I don't think any of us are normal. Yeah, you know, this whole idea of, of new normal. What, what's the new normal? There, you know, there, were we normal before? You, you, yeah, see, that that's assuming that you're right. That's assuming that you were normal. <laughs> and I don't know if, if that is a proper assumption to start with. So people are getting back to their lives. People are going back. To theme parks, people are going back to park. You know, we, you know, we do all. You know, De Deb walks um, the park nearly every day, and we see people playing basketball and doing personal training out there, and all sorts of things. People are, you know, people are getting back to what they were doing. Activities, indoors and outdoors. It's good to be uh, see a lot of uh, weddings on uh, social media. People posting pictures of weddings and wedding parties that they're having mm -hmm. and stuff, and uh, I know a lot of people had to postpone their their weddings and uh, different things that you know they were going to have uh, re renewals, yep. vow renewals. Those are nice to see. And so this morning we thought we would talk about some things that well I've noticed uh, happening with a lot of marriages. Now, you know a lot of people are getting married. But I've also noticed that a lot of marriages did not survive the pandemic, and that's the sad part. They didn't. They didn't survive the marriage. <laughs> they had the wedding, and they survived the careers, and they survived all that stuff. But they somehow didn't really survive the marriage, which they had to actually. They were forced to do. You were forced to. <laughs> get to really know your partner because some of us were shut up in the house 24 7. you were working um 
you were, you know, having dinner, you were doing, everything was done within these four walls. <laughs> And no then, matter how big your house was, right. I know that's where you were going. Because so many people have big ass houses. Yes, they and could you be, could be on one end and the other one on the other end, and never see each other. And and we did a lot of that. We stayed, you know, I was Will, just Willie has his office here. See out of the way. And oh, and you know, and I was working in a different part of the house, and you know, and it it just. And then I would shift to the bedroom, and he would shift to the living room, and we, you shift back and forth and, and different things. That uh, unfortunately we don't have a pool deck, so uh, <laughs> we didn't. I guess we could build a pool deck, and then we could put a pool in later. <laughs> That's true. That would be stupid. <laughs> I just want to see the guys come over. We, we need a pool deck here, and then goes, "You don't have a pool. Just build a deck." <laughs> we want a deck. So we can say we're going to the pool deck. We're going out to the pool house. So, but um, those are the things that have happened. Uh, some some marriages aren't surviving, and I find it more in the the entertainment industry than uh, in than in our regular you know social in you know you know personal lives and stuff. You know, most of the people that we associate with were huh. fine. Mm -hmm. They've been living their lives like normal like normal people. Uh, because I think that what happens with, with um, entertain, in the entertainment industry, they don't really live like we live, where you come home every day and you see this person and you sleep in the same bed. Um, you know, pretty much 365 days a year. A lot of them travel, they go six months out of the year, they're on the other side of the world doing this and that, on the other side of the country. Um, most of them don't spend, don't live a normal life. So when they had to be, quote, normal, you know, <laughs> it became an issue. Go ahead. No, it's interesting. You know, I, I, you know, you know, I find that extremely interesting because so many of these people, and, and we sort of found this out too, because, and I'm sorry if I, if I, if, if I'm thinking that I, I know who a lot of these people are, but I, I sort of peripherally hear about about certain things like this, this person who was supposed to be this, uh, this advocate for relationships and marriages and blah 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 blah. What was his name? Can't remember. See, it's it's not Kevin Samuels because he's the the new flavor. Um, <laughs> but minute. it's a yeah, it's another guy who um, was always giving relationship advice and stuff like this, and very popular. And he was cheating on his wife. So we find out that all these people who are, who are, and and people and and regular folks who are accepting his advice because these people are are um are celebrities and have a platform. Um, we find out that, you know what, they weren't living the life anyway. And maybe you should back off on taking on, advice. On, on taking advice from people that, first of all, you, you've never met and will never meet. Um, and that you can't get to, you can't send an email to, you can't, uh, you can't send an IM to and have them respond and tell them what you're going through. Maybe their example isn't an example that you want to follow. Because a lot of these people now, we have found out of the pr from the pressure of quarantine, the pressure of COVID, and the pressure of what, what, what went on. Yeah, you find out who these people are. I I found that extreme. I, I, of all of, of all that, I found that extremely interesting. That under that pressure, you find out who these people really are, and maybe you should take a step back from watching, listening, following. Um, Believing much they have to say, frankly, uh, but that's just that's just me. Y'all do what y'all want to do because you y'all grown most y'all, and you always will. So it just seems it just seems crazy to me. It does. Uh, even uh, what's his name, Bill Gates? Bill Bill and Melinda Gates, Splitsville baby. Um, I noticed the other night that Forrest Whitaker and his wife, Splitsville baby. Um, there's a few others that I, you know, right now it doesn't come up. Didn't come Jeff Bezos and his wife split too? I don't, I didn't 
I think so. Splitsville. Yeah, Jeff Bezos. Billionaires. So it's not even money. Because all these people we mentioned, they got they got plenty of money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they live in these these palatial homes. That they don't, but that's the whole point. Just making these people don't live like us. They don't notice when the, the, the electric bill comes in. They don't even notice. Somebody else handles all that stuff for them. They don't know. They don't know how much they spend on Amazon. They don't have any idea. I don't think if we, they shop on Amazon. I don't think we know either. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I know I don't know. I know I have, I have no clue. I, have, I, I know how much I spend. Okay, that's good because I don't have any. I'm, I'm telling y'all. That's uh, why I know when to pull it back. I don't have any idea. And when when, when I can buy stuff. The dude just shows up at the door and I'm like, oh, got some somebody got something. And I'm sure it's not me. <laughs> That's how. That's why. That's as much as I know. Somebody got something, and it ain't me. But um, but these people don't live like us. They don't. They pretend to, because it's good for their platform. Mm -hmm. But they don't. They live want like you them. to think that they they they're just regular. They're just regular, regular people. people. Oh oh, look! It's the millionaire. They don't remember how regular people live. They don't have so any idea. regular to them is totally different from regular to us. But um, I don't want I don't want to also make you think that we were perfect. You know, things were just perfect, perfect, perfect for us. They weren't really, <laughs> but they weren't really. It wasn't okay. It wasn't like everybody else. But um, the the things that that what were something that you thought helped you through the pandemic? Well, there are a couple of things. Um, the first thing is that you have to, I mean, you, you had to, it was one of those, and when the pressure comes, you had to really know what you believe to start with. What do you believe? Because your core beliefs are what gets you through everything, really. And what's in your core beliefs will get you through, uh, you know, health issues, get you through uh, financial issues, get you through a pandemic um and the fear of the media and all that stuff your core values are what are going, what's going to drive you through it what's going to help you through it and i you know I, I, I might, and if that wasn't stable from the get-go then the pressure of it will crush you and then you'll be like the rest of these people uh that was one of the things i mean that, that was the main thing that put you know that that, that helped me i was i was sure of my core belief. I was sure of who was my who was my my ultimate physician. I was sure that I was protected from plagues. I was sure. I was sure. So that made it a, that made it a lot easier for me. And for me personally, and you know that I'm an only child, so I'm I'm used to being quiet. I know it doesn't seem like it here, but I am. I'm used to being quiet. He is very quiet. I'm used to being settled. So being quiet and being settled for long periods of time really don't bother me all that much. So it was so in that so in in in, in that thing, in you know in, in, in that form it was it, it wasn't that stressful it wasn't stressful for me in in that way. Um, and then I got to teach because I taught here online. And then before too long I got to actually go back to my second job. I actually got to, got to go back. So I didn't really experience. I don't think I experienced what a lot of people experienced because I was I was still working and then I got to go to work. So, so for a long time since like last June, my my life didn't really change all that much. No. Which is why so many people don't like me. <laughs> Your life doesn't seem to ever change. Nope. So yeah, but but again, having that core belief of of, of of who your protector is, and you know, and and who you are in that, will make the ultimate difference. And I think for me, my relationship with with Christ got stronger. I really got into journaling and and studying the Bible, getting a lot of uh, uh, what what are those uh, daily devotionals done. Um, you know, it. I think it, it gave me more time to focus on God uh, rather than, than 
work and myself and all, you know, so many other things that it gave me good time to, to, to learn who I really was. And of course I said, as I said, Friday, when we were talking, I got more into outdoors. I mean, went to a lot of different parks and did, you know, walking and do stuff like that to, to, to be outdoors. Cause that was the one place that you could relax with wearing the mask and do, you know, and, 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 and get some vitamin D. Yeah. Get outside and, and, you know, and, and here in Florida, that was a lot easier to do. And I know in other places it might not have been yeah, as easy to, easy to do, but here in Florida, especially here in the West, you know, in West Central Florida, that was, that was a lot easier to do. And the, the park is little, little right up the street or you decide to walk in your neighborhood get outside and get some air, get some D on you, because the idea is that we found out from um, a lot of our you know, friends in the medical profession that uh, a lot of people who suffered um, badly had vitamin D deficiencies. And you can't get it all from the sun. Yeah, it, you can't get it all from the sun. So they, but the sun activates it. Take it some taking vitamins and stuff. Um, that was a lot of things that we did. We took zinc, <clears throat> we took vitamin C. We <laughs> I hate zinc so much. <laughs> zinc would make him sick because he takes medication on an empty stomach. I hate zinc so much. You can't take medication on an empty stomach, baby. I hate zinc so much. <laughs> I'm not friendly, Zinc. We are not friends. Vitamin C? I got you. Zinc? So, we it made us more aware of our immune system. We were more focused on taking care of our <clears throat> immune system and, and all of that. So, uh, it made me fo focus on my health, focus on my, my relationship with God, and um and being creative uh how many projects did i do here in several house? thousand <laughs> i don't know where anything is in the kitchen <laughs> i thought i had the refrigerator down but i found out recently that i don't <laughs> I did a lot of projects and i'm still working on projects because i'm organizing his closet <laughs> It brought out the creative part of me. Yes, yes it did. <laughs> but you've become creative. You cleaned up in here last I, night. I vacuumed in here. I did. I did vacuum. I it's it's it's, it's but I'm that I'm that guy. The vacuum is you can't see it because it's, it's right behind me. <laughs> did I put it away? No, it's right there. But I did vacuum a little bit, and uh, Debbie bought me this nice desk. And this is this is a, a, a thing that you guys haven't seen. This set, because uh, normally we're in uh, in the in the in, 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 in dining area, so you guys haven't seen this. So Debbie, Debbie put all this together, and I it took me months, but I finally got the hanger for my guitar, uh, and I have another one in a bag over there. Yes, I organized <laughs> his office. So and it stayed fairly fairly organized. Over there is our new pantry. Extension pantry extension, I guess. an extended pantry. Uh, prep. The other ones prep in, pantry. The, in the kitchen. What, what was the big pantry's in the kitchen, <laughs> and then we have a mini pantry. And I think a lot of people did that. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people did that. Um, extended their, their pantry areas because they weren't able to go shopping as right, uh, you know, yes. you know, like, like they did before. So you had so. got to have backups and extras and stuff. Of, of of food um and now being that we live in florida we are going to be preparing for the hurricane backup yeah it's never ending and it's funny and and all through um covid people you know people from other places were saying florida it's not like hurricane season but you know what we found out just it like it's lot, just like, like hurricane, hurricane season. season it was a lot like hurricane <laughs> just season. like hurricane season yeah you, you got to decide what you to, have to be prepared. <laughs> you got to be prepared, and yes, some some things were going to change for a while, and having and having the uh, the experience of hurricane preparation was instrumental for for a lot of Floridians. Just instrumental because we were used to some of the stuff they were asking us to do. We were used to it. Some of us already had the water 
you know, we already had toilet paper, toilet paper <laughs> you know, because the yes, we panicked. A lot of people panicked. Toilet paper, paper towels. A lot of us already had the water stuff. Mm -hmm. all, 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 a lot of the, um, a lot of the staples, a lot of the basic stuff, because mm -hmm. we, we know how to do that. And we also, I think, know how to operate when there's a crisis, a general crisis. I think that's why, and and people in the other countries, you know, look at Florida, Florida, blah, blah. but I think because we have to probably yearly prepare for a crisis to, to happen to us, we handled the pandemic much better mm -hmm. than other states. Say what you want, we did. <laughs> you hate us because you want to be us. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and we can tell because there's a thousand of y'all coming here every day. Yes. Um, the housing market here is crazy. In our neighborhood, people are buying. My Our neighbor wanted to sell her house and it was sold in how many days? It was sold in three days. Yes. No sign up front. No, she didn't even, sight we didn't even know she was selling it. Sight unseen. Sight unseen. Some Somebody bought her house. Just like that. Just like and that. And they're buying houses like crazy. We get offers for our house. Every day. Every day. And so, if you're interested, ten million, at $10 million, we'll start talking. <laughs> if you're interested, we'll ten, $10 million starts a conversation. At $10 million, we'll even pay the closing cost. Because I'm not a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know, yeah. So I, I, I really do. I, I think that we were, you know, in, in Florida, especially this part of Florida, we used to handling crisis like that. Mm -hmm. Where, so when somebody, so when the weather guy gets on TV and tells us that we're all going to die, we're like, yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, we're not. Remember the last time you said we're all going to die, and none of us died. Yeah, you remember? Yeah, that was that. Yeah, that was that. There was that guy in Homestead. But and I think that I think the pandemic um, fear and panic was a lot the same. Mm -hmm. Where you saw they, they kept telling us of, of of the things that could happen and 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 example of, of, what, of what could happen, but we were like, what what no, but what happens to everybody else normally? And in all the hurricane stuff that you see on on the Weather Channel, most people, everybody for the most part, ends up being okay. Because they know to when to leave, when to go, and do when to do all that stuff. You think about the the hurricane with Katrina. You know, um, I know New Orleans is right there too, but they don't get hurricanes every year. We just about every year we get one, big or small. Yeah, we get a name storm. We the get time. something all the time, and the people there didn't leave because they don't know how to handle all of that stuff. You know. So I think I think we made it through the pandemic the best, the state of Florida, because of our experience. And people died. I'm not I'm not downgrading saying that people didn't die. People died. And people die in hurricanes every year. They do. And they don't do the right things. They I mean they, you know, we we had a storm recently where some where some some woman got electrocuted because mm -hmm. she because she stepped out of her car into a, a huge puddle, which we we all know not to do when you don't know how deep it is, and there was a, a down power line and and, and electrocuted, and it's terrible. It's very sad. Um, but a lot of us know what to do, and I think under that pressure, we know what to do. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Florida man, not always bad. Uh, so, so in that, because you know what to do, our relationships a lot of times will not suffer to the to the same degree that people don't who don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Our relationships don't, don't don't suffer because, I mean, what, no one's gonna lie to you. You know, with some of these you know category four storms that are that are set to come through your front yard, there is stress. A lot of stress. I mean, there is stress. I mean. Because uh, what was the last one, um, Irma, that was mm -hmm. really big? I mean, we were, oof, that was scary. It was supposed to come through our front yard. Mm -hmm. It was literally supposed to come through our front yard. So. Our neighbors across the street left and went to, our, went to Orlando. And where did it go? Right to Orlando. They got caught. They got stuck there. Yeah. 
So, yeah, it, it can be stressful. And, and, I, and, I, and I know that, you know. You shouldn't take anything lightly. Yeah. Don't take anything lightly, but experience in something helps. It does. And I think mean, experience in stressful relationships or stressful situation in your, in, in, in your relationship will help. So the idea is when it gets stressful, that's the time you learn. That's, that's the opportunity. And I know nobody wants to hear that because I know I didn't want to hear that. Um, but as it turns out, that's the time when you can learn stuff. Mm -hmm. Was that your phone beeping? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because everybody heard it. Because um, it's sitting on the table. Oh, there you go. Um, but, uh, you know, that's the time you can... That's okay. That's the time you can learn stuff. And I, and I think that these, these, these Hollywood folks who live this sort of charmed life as far as the relationships go they don't really they really don't and haven't experienced the, the level of daily stress that a relationship can be um whenever there is now not, not that they don't that they don't have work stress and that yes. kind of stuff but they mean the day-to-day -day stress uh, I don't think they really, really um, have experience. And so when they get it, they don't know what to do with it. The only thing they, I mean, all, I mean the only thing they know to do is to avoid it, is to run from it. And if that has to be via divorce, I think that, that's how they do it. Yeah. Because a lot of them couldn't run off to the next movie because there wasn't a movie. They, a do. lot of them were out of work. <laughs> they were literally out of work. So they got to live reality like we did. Like us. Well. Okay, now the now the message today is not to move to Florida so you can experience it. No, don't move to Florida. Don't come here. <laughs> We're full. Although We're... I, w I would like to see my brother and sister, sister-in-law move here. Yeah, we've been trying to get to the move to the villages. <laughs> so uh, y'all know who y'all are. No, you're watching. My oldest brother. I know y'all are watching. If not live, y'all are watching later. I know you are. Yeah, the villages. Do some research. And uh, y'all can start off with a villa. It's cool. And before you get a you know a bigger house, we can come and visit all the time. For you all to know, the villages is my dream retirement place. <laughs> That's where I want them. Disneyland for seniors. Literally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the villages. <laughs> the villages. Golf car community. Mm -hmm. Great. But um, so but if they move here first, we can go visit all the time. Mm -hmm. And we can have the inn and know when stuff is ready for sale and all that stuff. So sounds good. Sounds good. So yeah, but 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 for the rest of y'all, y'all stay right where y'all are. <laughs> Y'all make it better where you are. I, I I am so thankful that I live in Florida. I am. And we then this is where we lived during that pandemic. Sure, that we didn't live in New Jersey. Yeah, I, I didn't live in New Jersey. That was really good. All right. Um, what else do you have on your list? No, that's it. That's it? Cool. I mean, we've been almost 30 minutes, so that's, that's pretty a good. long time for us. That's pretty good. All righty then. Well, we're going to get out of here. So we're back. We'll see you next next Monday. Uh, if you haven't gone to the YouTube channel, go to the YouTube channel. This is on YouTube, so you guys hit the if you're watching this, hit the subscribe button and hit the little the little notification bell. Uh, we promise we're not going to be doing lives for six hours or <laughs> I know some of y'all do lives for six or seven hours. I know whatever, um, or we're not going to be blowing up your email with you know what with post after post after post. So it's annoying. But hit the notification bell. That way, it sort of reminds you of, of when we put a uh, when we post a video. When we, when we post a video. Hit the subscribe button. We are 17 subscribers away from being able to change the name of the uh, of, of YouTube channel. Thank you so much. We need 17. That's not very many. Uh, if, even if you're watching this on Facebook, please go, go to the YouTube. YouTube channel and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We, we really would appreciate that. All right, we're going to get out of here and make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn to love somebody. For goodness sake, take care of yourself. And remember and never forget that we love you. Love you, and there's, there's nothing, nothing you can, can do about, about it. it. Peace. Peace.